Hello and welcome back. This will be my first attempt at a fiber optic cable, which is when you draw the glass out thin enough, it becomes flexible. And then it can transmit light all the way through the cable while going through walls or bending around solid objects without losing intensity. It's used in different fields of telecommunications to rapidly send information from one place to another. I'll do my best here to make a smaller cord of a few feet and then shine some light through it of different colors as a simple test. And now that I have a nice band of heat, I'll go ahead and pull apart in opposite directions to create one strand. This first pull looks a little thick. It will bend, but probably not enough. The more thin the pole, the more flexible the strand becomes. And so I melted that rod back together to do another pole. I've practiced this pulling technique quite a bit before for my glass candle video. To change the diameter of the strand, you need to change the speed at which you pulled apart. A faster pull will give you thinner strands, while pulling more slowly will leave the rod with a thicker diameter. Next up is the hard part, trying to figure out how to combine all these strands into a cord. Some shiny adhesive tape might work. There's normally a material layered around the outside of the fibers called the cladding. It needs to have a lower refractive index, which means it'll bend any escaping light back in to the core. And now I could make these fibers smaller still. These may be a bit too thick. I also need to find a better way to bind them together and something to use as an actual cladding. But I'm gonna finish up this one because it's time to run the test. And so I have the bundle pushed through a sheet of styrofoam and then surrounded by some black foam as well as a bit of a light barrier. And now I'll connect the LED. Let's see what happens. And there we go. It seems like it's shining some light through. I think it's looking pretty cool. I even tested it bent at a 90 degree angle and it was still working. I'm thinking next time I'll pull the wires out a bit thinner to get better flexibility and figure out a better solution for the cladding. But that's going to do it for this video on fiber optics. If you've liked it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another illuminating video here on the Matt Yasa channel.